So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Really nice morning here in Pennsylvania and we kind of dodged a bullet. Last night they were saying it was going to rain throughout the night, you know, scattered showers. And then today they are calling for 70 or 80% chance of rain, but so far no rain at all. Still nice and dry. So I'm going to take this opportunity to skid out a couple cherry trees that went down several months ago. I'll take the RK37 over the other hill and uh, see if we can't get them out at least to higher ground. If it rains, I'll be able to get to them at any time. Now these ones were kind of way off the existing trail. I didn't have a really good way to get to them. Uh, but the other night when I was brush hogging over at the orchard, on my way back, I thought, you know what, maybe I'll try to cut me a little trail down to them. And it worked out really well. Uh, I don't know, it was maybe 150, 200 yards off the main trail. I had the brush hog on and the uh, granite grapple, and it took me about a half hour. But man, I made a nice little trail down to them. It should work out pretty good. But we'll head over there in just a bit, and I'll kind of show you what's going on, and we'll get these logs out of there before it rains. All right, those cherry trees I was telling you about, over that way about, uh, I don't know, 150 yards, something like that. But in between here and there is kind of like a spring and a real wet area, and plus it's real thick. So what I did, I went up the hill here further, up towards the top, came down the other side. I'll show you. This section of woods up in here, it took a beating over the last year. Lots of downed trees, big limbs, and things like that. This is the start of the new trail I blazed through here. through here. Another cherry I'm going to get out.
All right, the uh, stump's sitting on a little bit, but I should be able to get it out of here, I think. Let's see. It's the first of two. have to cut these out of here what's happening is I'm kind of pulling on this side and they're catching on this I think if I get these out of here yeah that should work I'm gonna call Melissa if she's home uh, have her bring a saw over cut them off because this thing's long I'm telling you what it was way we'll measure this once we get it out of here it's tall
did you notice that eight hours later what happened I came over here first thing this morning the weather was looking great and within 10 minutes the skies got dark started raining I went over to the house and uh, I didn't think I'd get back over here but the Sun came out dried up pretty decent but I got some really really nice cherry out of the woods there uh, these ones were all blow downs I mean had I not cut that little trail to them they would have just rotted away but I got at least two or three nice saw logs out of these and a whole bunch of firewood. These are tall. This nice one right here, I kept my eye on this one for a while. It was hung up on about a 45 degree angle for the longest time. And then uh, it went down about six months ago and it was laying on the ground. And it doesn't take long. If you don't get these things, you know, in the first six, eight months, year, max, they'll start rotting away pretty quick if they're laying right on the ground. But this worked out really, really well. I got them up here to where I can work them up and uh, we'll carry a couple saw logs over, plenty of firewood, worked out really well. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.